Hey everyone, it's Tyler with Tracer Wire Technologies, and today we're out here locating, and I wanted to use this example to show you the differences between high frequency and low frequency, and how they can impact the accuracy of your locate, especially in congested areas. Now, as you can see, on the right-hand side is a telecommunications line, and on the left-hand side is a gas line with a tracer wire running parallel and close to the telecommunications line. Now, if the far end of this tracer wire is not grounded, it would force me to have to use high frequency in order to locate that gas line. Because as I've discussed in previous videos, if I wanted to use low frequency, both I would have to have both a direct connection to the target conductor and the far end has to be grounded. Now, something to keep in mind with high frequency, the electromagnetic field generated by the transmitter can be up to five times larger than the electromagnetic field generated using low frequency. So what I'm going to do, let's assume that the far end of this tracer wire is not grounded, and I'm going to turn the transmitter on high frequency, and then we'll take a look at what that looks like. So really, anything over 10K is going to be high frequency. I'm going to pick 33K. Okay, so again, this is high frequency, and as you can see, the electromagnetic field is so large that it has surrounded the telecommunications line, which is now generating its own magnetic field and is actually repelling the magnetic field of the line I am trying to locate. If you've ever played with magnets, you know that you can repel and attract one another. In locating, this is called distortion, and it greatly impacts the accuracy of the locate because now the receiver thinks the center line is here, when in fact it's right here. This is because the receiver interprets the shape of the magnetic field in order to determine the location of the target conductor. Circular magnetic fields provide accurate locates. Distorted magnetic fields yield inaccurate locates and potentially catastrophic results. Since I know this system utilizes our grounding terminals, I can be assured that the far end is grounded. So let's go ahead and put the transmitter on low frequency and see how that changes the accuracy. So really anything over, or I'm going to put it at uh, 512 hertz. All right, now you can see that the magnetic field is small and round. As a result, I'm able to accurately locate only the target conductor and other nearby conductors are not impacting the accuracy of my locate. Now guys, I plan on expanding on this topic in the near future because our devices not only provide far end grounding, but they also allow you to selectively ground the target conductor. And this means that you can essentially direct the path that you want to locate by putting 100% of your transmitter signal onto the intended conductor. Um, so if you guys have found value in this video, please consider subscribing and hit that bell so you can be notified when I publish new content. Thanks everyone.